Hello friends, welcome again to another session on similar triangles and today we are going to learn one of the very important theorems in all geometry and it is called as basic proportionality theorem which was which is also named after Thales, Thales and he is pre-Socratic philosopher so he existed before Socrates existed in Greece and he is also considered one of one of the seven sages seven sages seven sages in greece okay so this is a small introduction about this guy so this this was a scholar and a philosopher who gave a lot of mathematical theorems and uh, in and especially in geometry now let us understand what a basic proportionality theorem is it is uh, also called as intercept theorem okay so the the statement of this theorem goes like this and the statement is i am now writing the theorem statement and it says if a line if a line is drawn if a line is drawn parallel parallel to one side one side of a triangle of a triangle of a triangle intersecting intersecting the other two sides okay other two sides right then then it divides it divides divides the two sides the two sides in the same ratio in the same ratio so this is what is the statement for Thales theorem or basic proportionality theorem now let us understand this theorem what does it say so first of all it talks about a triangle so let us have a triangle first so let us say i have a triangle like this this is a triangle so let me draw a triangle this is a triangle Okay, and now it says that if a line is drawn parallel to the two sides, so I'm drawing a line parallel to the two sides and the other criteria is it must also intersect the two sides. Sorry, parallel to one of the sides. So hence, let us say this triangle is ABC, ABC and I'm drawing DE parallel to, parallel to uh, DC in this case, then, then, and then yes, intersection is also important, right? So DE must intersect the two sides that is AB and EC. Why? Because other line parallel to BC could be simply this. Then there is no question of ratio only, right? Another line could be like that parallel to BC. But the criteria is the line must be intersecting the two sides. So now DE is clearly intersecting the two sides of the triangle. Then, so according to Thales theorem, DE is parallel to BC. Okay, so hence AD by DB will be equal to AE by EC. This is what Thales theorem say. And it need not be only that DE is parallel to BC. Let us say I can draw another line parallel to, let us say AB. So let us say this is the line parallel to AB. Let us say this is PQ, PQ. Then, then also, so let us say if PQ is parallel to AB, then CP by PA is equal to cq by qb okay another example let us say this is a line parallel to ac and let us say, let us say this is xy two points are xy so hence again bx upon xc is equal to by upon ya okay so bx upon xc is equal to by upon ya so there though in, so there could be three possible parallel lines to the triangle right now intersecting the other two sides so in any which way any which case this is what you have to you, uh, this is what is the result so cp upon pa is equal to uh, cq upon qb ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec and bx upon xc is equal to by upon ya right so this is what is that description or let's say uh, all about what Thales theorem is okay 
Now let us see the proof of Thales theorem. How do we prove Thales theorem? Right? Since this is a theorem, there must be a proof for it. So let us see how. So let me redraw a triangle. And yeah, so this is a triangle. And let us say this line is parallel to one of the sides. Right? So this is A, B, and C. Okay. Let me, now what I have no, given, what is given? Given is, let us say this is D and E. So given is DE parallel to DC. Okay. And what is to be proved? To prove, to prove AD by DB is equal to AE by AC. Now to prove this, we have to use some construction. So what is the construction? First of all, drop a perpendicular from E onto AB. Let us say this point is F. And drop another perpendicular on, let's say AC from, let us say this is G. So construction. What is the construction? dg perpendicular to ac and ef perpendicular to ab okay and another construction is join be de and dc joined okay so i am right this is the construction. Now we are going to use the concept of area to prove this theorem. So let us now write what is the ratio of area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle DBE. Okay. What is area of triangle ADE is nothing but half into base. Now if I take AD as the base, then Fe is the height, right? Because uh, e, EF is perpendicular to AB, we have just drawn construction, right? And similarly, DBE, if you see, if you take DB as the base, then again, E is the third vertex. If you drop a perpendicular onto DB, so EF is the perpendicular, so you can again write Fe, right? So if you see this, this one here, this one is perpendicular to both db as well as ad isn't it so half into base into height okay so this fe fe goes half half goes so hence we get ad by db now if you see we have just got the lhs of the thing to be proved ad by db somehow if i get ae by ec and you know somehow we can prove that both are same then we are done now similarly i can take what do what can I say? I can say area of same ADE divided by area of triangle CDE. CDE. Look carefully. CDE. I am going to highlight those this area. CDE. This is the area. And the top one, ADE. Right? If you see, what is it again? Half into base. Now this time around I will take base as AE. Why? Because I need somehow AE, right? Half into AE into what is the height? Height is DG. Isn't it? Hi height is DG and divided by half into base of CDE. This highlighted triangle, if you see, base is CE and height is again DG. Why? Because D is the vertex, the third vertex of CDE. And from D, you are dropping a perpendicular onto CE, which is nothing but DG. So again, this DG, this DG goes half half goes so hence if you see it is nothing but ae upon ec or ce correct let me name this equation one equation two now we are definitely getting what we need now we are getting definitely what we needed to prove correct but then for that if we somehow prove these to be equal then our job is done now now, if you see in the LHS of both one and two, the numerator is same and which is DADE 
KDE. That means if I somehow prove the denominators also to be same, then my job is done and hence the RHS must, must also be equal then. Let us see whether triangle area of triangle DBE. What is area of triangle DBE? So let me reduce the size a bit and yes, so, so that we can fit everything in the same frame. Now, if you see, we let us consider area of triangle DBE. Area of triangle DBE is nothing but half into DE half into DE, DE is the let's say base and you can drop a perpendicular from B onto DE, let us say this height is H. So half into DE into H. Now area of triangle CDE if you say is also half into DE, again I am taking the same DE. And if you see, CDE also is between the same parallels. So hence, again here also, this is the perpendicular. So this height will also be H because distance between two parallel lines is always same. So into H, that means from this argument, I can say, what can I say? I can say area of triangle DBE is equal to area of triangle CDE isn't it and hence let us say this is 3 so clearly from 1 2 and 3 from 1 2 and 3 we can say AD by DB is equal to AE by EC right hence proved once again, how did it happen? We found out the ratio of the two triangles. We got this one, we got this one, and we had to e eventually equate these two. Yep. For that, the LHS of both must be same. We saw that the numerator is same. We just proved that the denominator is also same. And the denominator is nothing but area of two triangles which are same because the base is same and the height, bit, height is also same. Correct? Hence, the LHS part, LHS part is same. So if LHS part is same of two equations, then RHS part has to be same and that's why we arrive at this result. Okay, so this is called basic proportionality theorem, right? Once again, what is basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem or inter intercept theorem? It is nothing but uh, if a line joins or, or line is parallel to one side of the triangle, then it divides the other two sides into equal ratios.